It's been a hectic few days for you. It's actually been a very hectic 24 hours. Uh, certainly from Saturday morning training with Monaghan and then to receive a phone call early afternoon would I be interested in taking the draw to post. Um, obviously then I had to ring my chairman at Monaghan United and drove up to Monaghan. I probably on that two hour drive up to Monaghan I, I sort of made up my mind that I would take the job. Uh, are you able to tell us uh, what, what attracted you to take that draw to job? Well obviously Premiership football and hopefully the honesty and the integrity of the people that I met Saturday afternoon and Sunday, very, very early Sunday morning, they've assured me that things are okay off the park and now it's my responsibility to get it right on the park. Uh, in terms of timing, I mean, the, the, the first uh, league match comes up in just a few days' time now, Friday night. Um, how are you s set for a squad for the coming season? Well, the squad that's there, in fairness to Bobby Brown, he only found out two weeks ago that Drogheda were, were remaining in the Premiership. I think he worked very hard and diligently and there's good players there. So if I can add a couple between now and Friday, I'll be quite confident that I'll finish above the relegation battle. So, all in all, looking forward to the new season? I am indeed um, an ex Drogheda player and has always been a part of my heart. That would always look for Drogheda's results and all that and certainly I'm glad to go back there being a manager in a Premiership club. Sean, it's been a topsy-turvy few weeks for Galway United. How difficult has it been to get a squad together? Very difficult. I think when you're, when you're told on the Friday before the, the window closes that you've got your licence set, it uh, really puts your back against the wall and uh, it's frustrating. And on top of that, the budget that you're working with is, you know, minuscule. Uh, it's very, very difficult. And we've had a very fractious and uh, not a, not a pre-season that I would like. You know, I've managed this league five years and through no fault of my own, this is probably the worst pre-season we've had, you know. And, uh, but it kicks off on Friday and, you know, some Pats aren't going to worry about that. Uh, so we just have to make sure we go out on Friday night and, and be competitive. And I think, uh, you know, the one thing I can say about my teams is they're always competitive. Sure. There seems to be a, a feeling in the league over the last few years that it's the, uh, it's, it's the, it's the off-season that's traumatic. Will there be a sense of re relief to get back to playing football again? Yeah, there probably will, because once you're playing football week in, week out, it sort of takes care of itself, you know, and I think certainly a lot of clubs struggle with the off-season, but that's where they need to look at. That's where you're real, as a manager, you do more work on the off-season than you actually, you know, coming in, taking training and going to do matches is easy. That's the easy But You know, the off-season is the hard work where you've got to go and meet players, convince players about your football club. And you can only be doing a good job there if the club are giving you the right facilities, the right budget, where you can attract the right calibre of players. So, all in all, I think I think that's one area where the clubs in this league struggle, all clubs. We struggle with what we do outside, outside of the season and we struggle with what we do in terms of providing training facilities and, and other things for our players that, you know, other leagues across the world are, are well, well ahead of us. Um, in terms of the squad that you have put together for this, uh, for this coming season, are you able to tell us about who you've got in? Yeah, we've, said, we've, got, a, we've got a couple of good, we're a very young side. You know, we've got Karl Moore, who was at Man City and uh, played a wee bit at UC last year as an excellent player. I, I tried to get him when I was at Bohemians on loan. Uh, we've got a, a young English boy coming in striker called Joseph Yof, who I think will be, will be impressive. Uh, and I've got players who played for me before, Stephen Freeney, uh, ex Sligo, I've got Gary Curran, we've got Sean Kelly at Dundalk. So uh, you know, we're putting together a, a nice complement of, uh, the problem is we just lack that real genuine core of experience that's needed to be successful, you know. And of course you also have the fabulously named Ali Love. Is he one of the same members? Yeah, well I think we have a problem there where we're, we're speaking to Michael this morning, I think there's going to be a problem with the registrations over the over the Samaritan players, so uh, it looks at this stage uh, very unlikely that we'll have to probably wait to July to see Ali Love and, and Jimmy McKiernan uh, make their, their, their debuts in League of Ireland, which for me, uh, I can't describe how frustrating that is. You know, it's uh, uh, again, it's an administration problem and uh, I just don't want to say any more because okay. I'll probably get myself in trouble. Well, we're the champions of like the Northern Ireland and we're the champions of, of Ireland, um, so it's as tough as you can get, but it's a great... It's a great level of us to see where we're at, um, to see if we if we progressed over the close season. Um, you know, we'll go and play arguably the best two teams in Ireland. Uh, in terms of your squad for 2011, you've lost lost a few, mm. but you've got some very exciting players coming in as well. Yeah, but that's part and parcel of football in this country. Um, you know, all the players are on one-year deals, and you know, with that, you, you'd expect to lose one or two. Uh, I think we've. We've improved. Uh, only time will tell on that one, though. Um, but we've brought in some genuine quality, some young, hungry players, um, and some players with, with vast experience who've, who've won plenty of trophies in this division. Uh, you obviously uh, won't want to be uh, making too many predictions, but there's a good feeling about Dundalk this year. People see, um, see good things for you. 
they always do in Dundalk. And there's a winning mentality among the fans that we have to live with, and I love it. You know, the the fans always have high expectations of their team, um, and that's part and parcel of being manager of Dundalk. So hopefully, I can live up to their expectations this season. Thanks, a million. Appreciate it. Cheers.